Nike is dedicated to inspiring every athlete to reach their full potential. Nike co-founder Bill Bowerman saw endless possibilities for human achievement through sport. His philosophy still guides our mission today, to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. Nike Inc. was founded in 1969 and is engaged in the design, development, marketing, selling of athletic footwear, apparel, equipment, accessories, and services. The company sells its products through retail accounts, through Nike-owned retail stores, and internet websites, and through a mix of independent distributors and licensees throughout the world. All the company's products are manufactured by independent contractors. The company's all footwear and apparel products are produced outside the United States, while equipment products are produced both in the United States and abroad. The company operates in North America, Western Europe, Central and Eastern Europe, Greater China, Japan, and emerging markets. The company focuses its Nike brand product offering in eight key categories. Running, basketball, football, also known as soccer, men's training, women's training, action sports, sportswear, and golf. For STP analysis, we came up with three potential segments. One, demographics, two, psychographic, and three, geographic. In the end, we went with demographic. For Nike, we want them to target middle to young people from the ages of 16 to 36. This group of people love sports, they have active lifestyles, and they also have a little bit of a unique taste of fashion. They want high quality performance shoes and outfits with elegant design. They want to own something that can describe their life and themselves. They wouldn't mind paying a bit more money if they find the product that they truly want. And our positioning statement is Nike, the fashionable way to stay fit. Nike sells footwear and apparel such as hoodies, hats, and compression shorts, among other things. They also sell sports equipment such as golf clubs and football gloves, in addition to certain accessories such as sunglasses and backpacks. Nike also allows consumers to customize their own set of sneakers through what they call Nike ID. This allows customers to choose their base model of sneakers and then apply their own designs, colors, choice of laces, etc. to the product. One critique for Nike is that, like Apple, their products have somewhat of a cult-like following. This means that Nike could potentially take advantage of their consumers by raising prices on their products, knowing that the, some of their consumers will still continue to purchase their products. Another critique for Nike is for their Nike ID. Some consumers have reported that it takes a while for them to get their custom-made shoes. Some consumers have actually even reported that it takes up to three months for them to get their product. Nike could obviously fix this problem by shortening the time it takes to make the shoes and ship the products, thereby gaining a more favorable response from the consumers. Overall though, Nike is a profitable company with successful products, and they should continue to focus on those products for their consumers. So really all you need to do is just get some Nike gear, get out there, and just do it. Being able to charge higher price for its products is one of the key differentiators for Nike. Over the past few years, the company has clocked in selling price increase in most markets and categories as it pushed the boundary of brand premiums ever further. Also, the company has completely changed its architecture from its cost plus model to the new consumer value drive model, which simply means how much a consumer will be willing to pay for each product without being anchored to any cost component. Nike sells its products worldwide at major shopping centers and departmental stores, including over 20,000 multi-brand retailers and Nike stores themselves. Additionally, Nike uses online retailing for customers to personally customize a product to their preference through its e-commerce channel. Outside of the United States, Nike sells some of its products through independent subsidiaries, distributors, and licensees. Although Nike has production facilities worldwide, most of their production and manufacturing takes place in various facilities around Asia. Their reliable customer service has locations established worldwide so that customers can always get connected when the time is right. 
Nike receives constant criticism for not releasing adequate information to the public regarding its contract companies where production takes place. This puts pressure on the moral responsibility of the brand. Additionally, depending on the location, certain areas are prone to see many more sales of illegally made Nike products that aren't made in official Nike stores. These fabricated items pose a real threat to Nike as they can be sold at just a small percentage of an official Nike product. A critique Nike could use for their promotion is to utilize their endorsers like Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, and LeBron James to promote their brand nationwide at community events and school functions. This would allow them to get on a more personal level with their younger consumers and really promote their products that are targeted specifically at them.